Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, here we are in the Honda CRV Mark III. Uh, we've got this new gator to fit. Uh, I'll show you the state of the original in a minute. Uh, so I've got this off eBay. I'll put up a screenshot so you can see how much I paid for it. Um, so yeah, that's the task in hand today. I'm gonna fit a new gator. So guys, yeah, you can see uh, the gator is quite bad. Um, so we're, we're gonna get that replaced with a nice level one. Um, but first off, what we got to do is pop out the uh, AC control or the air control um, and then lift out this piece and work through it. But we, we'll go through that anyway. So first off, um, plastic lever tool to try and get in the edge there. Uh, there's like a little groove on each side or where someone's had a go before trying to get it out. Um, so if you don't have a plastic lever tool, you can use a flathead screwdriver, um, put a cloth over it to try and minimize the damage to your trim. Okay, so here we go. I'll try it with this one. Doesn't want to do it. And now we'll try the screwdriver. Yeah. And no damage, so that's good. Yeah, it's just a bit more rigid for what we need there. Maybe get it in the other side as well. Um, there you go. Yeah, sometimes it's unavoidable to get little marks, but there we go, it's an old car. So that's that out of the way. Um, now, it's probably going to be better just to uh, disconnect it. There's only one little cable there on the back. So you can just see it. That little tab, just push that forward. And hopefully, that come out. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, that was easy. So, yeah, that just lifts up. Uh, unscrew the gear knob. see what we got to do underneath okay so we'll pop all the staples out um, and get this trim removed so I'm just literally using a flathead screwdriver for this um, going around the back fold them out go to the front and just lift it up each one of the staples to give it a twist probably a pair of pliers just to pull it out um, so yeah repeat that for each one of the staples okay so once you've got all the uh, staples removed on these leather tabs these holding straps you've got these little silver clips going around the edge so I'm guessing we've just got to push them forward to um, release this which is like another securing strap drops out far too easy okay and there's that disgusting old thing um, so obviously you want to pop out this uh, although I do have a new gear knob so let's have a look at my new one I think oh right okay so I guess you just fold that round somehow and have a look at it and then maybe put a cable tie around it um yeah okay yeah so you can see the old one um it's just literally cable tied round um folded across with a cable tie okay um worst comes to the worst i can always use the original i suppose okay okay so i turned the gator inside out and with the, the gear knob and its new bit, um, push that in so that obviously the black bit will be coming out um, and this will be sort of going in that way. Uh, so we just need a cable tie to go around there and that should be how it's secured. Um, so right, let's get the cable tie around it. Okay, so there it is. Um, got it on as good as I can. I didn't know if I should go higher with it, but 
it's all being gripped. So I'll just snip the end of the cable tight and spin it inside out. Okay, so just a note with the, um, when you're putting in a new one, the pitch between the, these tabs is different. So you've got a bigger distance there to what you have there and there. So I'm just trying to figure out, looks like the biggest gap between them is there and there. They seem quite close. Uh, so yeah, uh, get your biggest gap going across this bridge here. Okay, so I've come indoors for this because it was a bit too awkward in the car. Um, as I was saying earlier, there's a wider pitch on the lever. So this seems to be the widest pitch, which would be at the bottom of the uh, unit. Uh, for the gator so uh, and I'm gonna cable tie uh, each one uh, so we'll start with these two and then work our way around so got some little ones I don't know if they're gonna be enough let's try it so I'm sure me know a little bit Obviously, once you've done these two, hopefully the pitch for the gator should be correct for the rest of them. <clears throat> I'll have the cable ties to the edge like that. I don't know if it makes it a little bit better for getting it tighter. So yeah, there's them two. So I'll carry on and do the rest. So you've got to go over this lip as well. Go over that and then you can get that other piece of trim in place, which also acts as a, another grip for it. It's probably just overkill doing the other bits. Yeah, that's sort of going in. That's all round, so let's just get these top two done. Is it worth putting on the other bit? Because this X is another way of securing it all. So you can see the lever's there and it's actually stopping them from clipping in. That's where it's probably not been cut. Idea. More or less there. So I'll do the rest of it these first well it doesn't look too bad for me that will have to just sit as that is maybe I'm being too fussy but it's in okay just snip off these little bits in case they get in the way in the car and to make it obviously look a bit neater Okay, there we can see that's back in place now. Obviously it just pops straight in. Uh, there's plenty of leverage for each gear. He says, all right, sixth gear, fifth, and then reverse, yeah. So, happy days. Let's uh, just pop back in the um, control unit. Obviously, make sure you connect it first before you pop it back in. Okay. okay, cable connected in the back there. And now this should literally just click into place. There you go. Nice and easy. Nice little tidy job. Uh, old one. Look at that. Disgusting. So, yeah. And then we've got a nice little new leather looking one. Well, it is leather. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching the channel. Please subscribe, like, and share. Um, many thanks.